Uh, welcome friends. In this today's session, we'll check about our last series, which says, how do we make an integration of data cap task master application with our beloved uh, IBM FileNet P8 content manager. Okay. Let's go to the data cap studio to check our application. Our application is OCR demo. Uh, we are interested in capturing, we have in we have captured details for name, designation, grade, date of journey, year from this image. And now what we want to do it, we want to store this image along with the metadata that we capture into document management system repository, which is in our case is IBM FileNet P8. Dataka provides up to the box IBM FileNet P8 actions or functions that you can use it to make an integration. To do it, let's create one, a new rule set. I uh, will give it a name such as expert to be it. Let me see, there's some problem here. Uh, I would like to write a rule here that will make a connection uh, or that will log in, log in to be it. And there will be another rule inside this that will be used to upload a document. This will be placed at the page level. You can place it at a document level also. This is function useful for uploading document or page. Okay, here uh, we require a file like PDF login. says that no matter what kind of version you are using for IBM file and period, make sure that you are using the mtom in this case. So what is my this URL? It's very easy for me, no need to uh, take some more and let's say worry about it. I can have my information somewhere here, very close. This is it. I can cross check. Is it same or not? You can go to Internet Explorer and you can check this out. This is something which is coming, which is happening. Just copy it and plus into your UI. Target class it. Check it out. What is it? Either it, you can store your details in the object store or file store. In our case, we'll check about, we'll be storing our details in object store, rather going to file store. So just write the type of store that you're gonna use is object store, target object ID. This says that where you want to commit your documents into. Now my object store name is HR, so I will use it as HR, login. I uh, need to pass your credentials. In my case, it's something called C admin and comma the password one to three. Just for that. Uh, 
you save it, you publish it, kind of thing. Uh, we are done with the login. Your login should be applied at the batch level. You don't need to make a login for each and every document. Just uh, make a connection with IBM FileNet PA for entire set of documents present in the batch. So that's what I'm gonna do. Add to this year. Add it here. I'm just saving my work. In case of upload to document, yes. What I want, I want to use a doc title. I'll be setting it. Uh, since we have a five properties here, five metadata values. You check it for two. Can have a destination folder here where you want to submit your documents and at the end FNPAW. Okay, the main thing uh, that we forgot to say is doc class ID. Yes, and doc class ID says that what is a document class which is going to use. Okay, now here what we'll use will create a new document class a new doc class uh, my name is OCR demo and doc class name let me change it from OCR demo to OCR basic doc class uh, as I want to uh, store the name okay I do not have it I might be having something different first name Let's do it. First name. Okay, I'll do it. Let's create a new. As a full name, it's already exist. Okay. So if it's there, you don't need to create once again. Just use it. I'm just checking for a full name. Oh yes, there it is. joining yeah. and then we have a year so yes uh, this is what our doc class contains I'm just simply storing it I've created, I've created a new doc class name OCR Nemo BC Just make a note here. Uh, date of joining is a date time field, whereas designation, full name, grade, year are string. And I want my all the records to be. I want to store these details inside this OCR folder. There is only name file present here. I will simply delete this. So there will be my record inside root folder inside OCR. Okay. So uh, now we know that the doc class name is OCR demo DC. What I want, I want my doc class name should be at the right name. So this will be dynamic at the runtime it will decide it. For at the right set property, interesting thing. Here you can go for uh, this kind of variables which are already predefined or you can use something like this now what it says that the first should be or should come from your file net period and this will be your data cap properties data cap field values that you want to store inside the file net variables so that's why make sure that you write the symbolic name here and not the display name so full name will store the full name uh, designation so this is my symbolic name for a designation field in file net field and this is my data field destination folder 
uh, slash stands for root folder and inside this I have OCR so this will go inside OCR and then finally we will have upload save and publish it and you can store this in value at the page level you can apply this values at the page level at to this here save lock it check the value sync in view it's correct one more thing this is a document title this is a full name this is a designation and the stuff fields we can add it similarly so let's run Let's run to our client. Okay. Uh, we'll simply delete all those things. So we don't have any new batch. We'll have a new batch right now. Let's scan it. It's completed. Go for the page ID. Let's into batches. We have a batch here. Okay. It's processing. It's taking some time to reload. I think it's in finish. It's finished. Okay. You can check it out here in a page ID.xml. That is our yeah. Our type of page has been identified. There is no need to create a fingerprint as we already created a fingerprint for the same page. And now let's extract the details to rule runner. It's been extracting and we can see some data files in our batch directory instead of a batches. Okay, I think I missed the one major place for the export. Uh, I'll tell you what I missed. I just recalled. Uh, minimal it progress. Let me show you what the point which I missed here. Uh, since we added a new export to P8. I need to add this export to P8 inside this export my um, job workflow or my data gap application workflow which I did not add so I need to add it here so I'm just adding it it won't be any problem right now as I'm adding to my export so I'm not more making my own, I'm not making any modification to by default export but I'm adding a new something for export to P8 for specifically P8 one so in this case or uh, in such scenario you may have a multiple export that does export to let's say your plain text files you export to pa you can have export to xml also you can have export to database also now it's up to you whether you whether you want to have a single export that does all the tasks or you want to make modifications to the by default export or you can add something called a new rule set just what i created here for IBM file like PA uh, called export to PA that specifically deals with only file like PA uh, committing documents so in this way if tomorrow there is scenario comes that we have a new repository let's say document or let's say SharePoint then in this case we can simply remove from a task profile export field where we added the export to PA so simply remove it don't make more application into your rule sets let it be as it is as long as it's not there in task profiles there won't be any change to application it's simply of assigning and then deassigning that's it let's see what has happened here a rule is finished it's completed uh, we can have something let's further you i'm mean, more interested in my batch my data file yeah i can see that some data file has been created let's load it it loaded something uh, 
uh, let's do the verification. It's, it is not identified in the date of showing, no problem. We added it. Yes. And you finish it. Now the last export appeared. Let's do it. I think it's finished, it's completed. Uh, let's see what has happened exactly. There is one way to check, definitely. The first way is what to check into this OCR folder. The document has come or not. Uh, if you don't have access here, you want to check from your application and what has happened, and see that. There is a something XML file gets generated, which is called P8 uploaded. Simply open it, and you'll be able to see when your doc ID. This is what is important for us. Let's see. Um, this is a FEM for us. This is a file created today. Uh, the properties and the properties here. We set only document item. We set designation and we set full name. We did not set this values. That's why it did not come. And we can see the image also. Okay, it is open in a paint. Let me open it in something workless or workless xt i do have a workless xtr let me do the login there is some uh, problem and uh, yeah some problem here anyway uh, we can see an image here I did open it let me just let me just say minimize these files and you can see this I don't want to let's say do this facing some different here but you can see that image has been loaded and this is about the same image and this is all the details what we wanted that's for it